sunrise. That's real. Dave, how do you feel about these fights, bud? Well, if you want to talk the main event, um, it's very interesting, but uh, you know, knowing that Perlana has a uh, undefeated record. He's undefeated? Yeah, that being said, the guy's never left his country to fight. Yeah, I was about to say, has he ever fought? So, well, my personal opinion, I just think that may be a factor in this. He may just be shell-shocked when he sees that Sydney crowd. You guys got any predictions? Two rounds. And then the night's done. Dave? Sixth round, knockout. Rosicky. My job for the weekend is I'm going to be uh, doing all the overlay production for the event um, and the pay-per-view stream. So, um, yeah, we're just hoping to, uh, to have a nice, successful, smooth event. And we want all of our hometown fighters to do well. And I'll consider that a complete success, in my opinion. All right, man. Okay, buddy. Thanks, brother. Fly safe. Have a good time. Shut up to Sunny Shaw for the fucking ride. Designated See you, buddy. airport driver. It's a little chippy out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's the. I just need those. Oh, they put it in the bag. You take it over to the other side. Yeah, yeah, we're all together. We just, we, we all came together. We just, uh, went separate. Sorry, buddy. Fucking camera. Yeah, I Yeah, exactly. I'm kind of right now. A little bit of a crazy day at the Toronto airport. Wouldn't you say? I paid ten bucks for this thing. I forgot my mask. They made you pay ten dollars for the mask? Yeah, I forgot. Oh, That's too. the biggest. I, yeah. And I was like, you can go to the vending machine. And I was like, oh, okay. Fuck <laughs> you. I grabbed the mask the last minute. On the way out, I was like, just in case. Threw it in my pocket. Oh, I didn't even think. And I saved 10 bucks now. That's, that's the biggest rip off I've ever seen. Yeah. $10? Yeah. You just need just for the airport, too. And they have vending machines for this now. Yeah. We are the crazy. Yeah. I was kind of thinking that when I was in the lineup here. It's like, man, it's. We're here. Yeah. The yeah, future's like, now. You just like scan in. You don't have to talk to nobody. No. Yeah. Just like people are just going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, oh nice, yeah. nice. Long wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much all weight. Yeah, got like another pound to go. So, yeah, it's not that you get a You get a pound too in Nova Scotia for your shorts. Oh, you do? You do. Okay. So even though it's 168, you don't, you don't. What are they making those shorts with back there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your, your Human flesh. 
run down. I have it right here. I was just drinking the water. Yeah. AC39 going to uh, Nova Scotia as, a, as I speak and um, I think we're about an hour and a half out now um, you know we're crammed in like sardines but uh, we're making ways <laughs> how's it feel on fight week oh it feels great man I, I'm, I'm really excited that fight week's here um, it's the best week obviously of the camp um, we're just a few days out uh, fight. We're gonna after once we land, we're gonna be doing a uh, little press conference. And tomorrow we got wins, and then um, yeah, we fight Saturday, man. And I'm, I'm really excited to, to be going to Cape Breton and to, to be showcasing my skills out there. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to this fight. Looks good. Jay Hollywood Dau, aka Ric Flair. How's the flight going? It's going good, man. Got some sleep finally. How long just suits for? I, yeah, I don't think that long. How you, feel, how you feeling on fight week? I feel really good. I feel really good. Uh, Talk a little bit about it. I just, uh, you know, all the hard work's done. That's the best part. Uh, we, this fight was pretty close to the last one, like seven weeks after, so we didn't have much of uh, rest time. So we've just been going hard. So I love fight week because I kind of get to rest and just let my body prepare for the peak. And I'm going to peak on Saturday night. Waited two years uh, to come back here, so a few more minutes over where we scheduled. I uh, thank you again for, for all your patience, and it's great to be able to say that we're finally back and having an event here at this building. It's been a two, long two years, I know, for everybody. Introduce the card real quick. We have uh, seven fights on the card. So the first up will be Matt McIntyre versus Jeff Knight. They're both two locals from Halifax. That'll be four rounds at the Super Welterweight division. Also, we have John Michael Bianco versus Ivan Banich. Ivan Banich is also from Argentina. That'll be a good bout, four rounds at uh, 168 pounds. We also have Lucas Body versus Rodolfo Moreno. Uh, once again, that's Lucas has been out for about two years. BC international title cruiserweight, and also it's going to be a WBC world title eliminator. Uh, super excited for that. Scheduled for ten. John, please fight. You satisfied with it? Yeah, like um, I had the, everybody knows I had the world title fight in October, and then I, you know, like right after that fight, I was in the woods hunting. Hunt, I was tracking down a bear, was walking 15 kilometers every day trying to get this guy, and I ended up getting him. And then like, so that was that was the beginning of my training camp. Then I went straight into a training camp, fought another heavyweight, and then I went straight into another training camp, and then straight into this fight. So, you know, I'm more than ready. So that bear is not unlike. Getting into the ring on Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> oh, that they're getting in the ring. It's not great on that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Emil, again, we're going through your your, uh, your translator. Um, what's your journey been like? Uh, can you talk about his boxing background and how he ended up here? Oh, well, I'm sorry, and so his his boxing career. What kind of type of career has he had? <laughs> All over the place today. Yeah, no problem. No problem. What do you need, William? What do you want him to ask him? You want the insurance form? Yeah, uh, what do you need from them? Yeah, sure. 
la, la for, la, 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 el formulario de la aseguranza lo que sí. ahora lo hacemos ya mismo Come on, do, do, don't do me like that. That's perfect. You can put filters and stuff. Filters, <laughs> saturation, you're good, no worries. Hi, Jill, the car, I'm gonna get a pregnancy test. You're gonna get a pregnancy test? Yeah, I have to. Uh, you yeah. do know I got that on a... Oh, oh okay. <laughs> pregnant? No. <laughs> Dave, can you go with Carolyn to get the pregnancy test? Do you want me to go get one? I can go get one. I go, no, no. I... Anybody else hasn't got a medical? Yeah, he's down here. So you need to look at that time? Just talk to him on no, you still can't hear it. Everybody is here, I think. That's everybody. Just a girl, right? I don't know. There's another girl. I don't know how many. Hubert, do you listen? Talk to me. Pregnancy test. It's on its way. For both of them? It's going to be two women. Yeah, but the woman, the woman uh, is going to be here for another hour. Your flight got canceled. Oh, flight canceled? Okay. Yeah. I Just for fun skis, I send them to the schedule. They don't care. Jake's like, I didn't read it. <laughs> yeah. the pregnancy test go? Great. I'm not pregnant. Nice. <laughs> Negative. Got four just in case. <laughs> yes, that's just like a laceration repair. Just. So usually we each take a corner, and when the fight is done, then we just check them right there, and then they go back to the dressing room. And if there's something else that we need to do, mm -hmm. like suture a lack, then one of us goes back to the Correct. room. That's perfect. That's, that's very fine. And that looks better. It gives a good, a good impression of the commission and what we do. Yeah. If you do that right, as soon as the body room. Yeah. How's the weight cut going? It's going pretty good. Um, it is probably the least part fun of this game, but it's what we got to do. So I got about five pounds to go. And yeah, here we go. Famous UFC guys do it and stuff. UFC guys cut a lot of weight too. I'll put a half There's not as many weight classes as in boxing. Right, yeah, so they lose a lot. I put a good hefty amount in there, make sure it's sucking everything out of me. Get it really uncomfortably hot. I'm pretty much ready to do this. It's like an all access, I like you said. Gotta get used to it. Oh yeah, that's fucking hot. Coach says it's gotta be uncomfortably hot to work, so here we are. So, yeah, like I was saying before, it's such a beautiful sport. It has to have some some negatives to it, and uh, this is all for to perform at our best on fight night, to peak on fight night, and put on for the fans, and just uh, do my best to crush this guy. That's it. This is what it's for. This is what this hell is for. It's going to be worth it. Talk about being back. First flight back in after two years. Pumped. I'm pumped. Yeah? What's yeah, it feel like uh, to fight back in Sydney? Back in Sydney? Uh, never. First, first, first time, time in Sydney. First time here. Yeah, I've never ever fought on the East Coast actually as an amateur and pro. So it's my first time. From what I hear, it's pretty exciting. So I'm, I'm uh, excited to put on a show. Uh, body just got uh, upgraded to the co-main event of the evening. So he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders because he's got to perform. He's got to be the opening act for the, uh, the bigger Zicky, so. First day uh, here in Sydney, we had the press conference today. It went really well. We had Yamil Peralta and his team there. Uh, they're really professional. His uh, promoter Mario was a great guy. Uh, looking forward to the weigh-ins tomorrow at Boston Pizza. Love Sydney, love being in it. It's, uh, it's really fight city. Uh, people don't know it, but you get here and you realize that boxing's a huge history in Cape Breton, huge history in Nova Scotia, huge history in Sydney. 
So uh, we're proud to be a part of this, and we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great matchup. WBC uh, title on the line and uh, world title eliminator. Undercard looks great. Uh, everyone's ready. Everyone's fit. Everyone's on weight. So uh, we're good to go for tomorrow.